Hey everyone, it's Brittany and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Um, I didn't post a video yesterday because it was a super busy day. Um, we got more snow overnight, uh, Monday night. No, yes, Monday night into Tuesday. So when we woke up, I had a delay at work. Um, which I thought would give me time to clear out my car, but it did not. Oh, Pito's here. Um, so yeah, I had trouble cleaning out my car. I was out there struggling, shoveling by myself. There was no way I was going to make it to work on time. I was just about to call work and let them know. But then I came inside, I look out my window, and one of my neighbors started snow blowing my car out and I thought that was really nice I think he saw me from across the way struggling so there are some good people in the world so I got to work on time which was awesome but then I went to work and then I went grocery shopping it was just a busy long day and when I got home finally I just did not feel like making any type of video I just felt like relaxing watching TV and hanging out so today I'm going to do a unofficial houseplant tour um, I say unofficial because this isn't exactly how I would like my plants to be, where they would be, how they would be. Um, I think my official house plant tour will be one day when I have a house. Because um, for now we live in a mobile home and there's just not enough room for all the plants that I do want. So for now, this is what I have. I love my plants. Um, I recently got into plants this past year. I will, I do have a few that are dying right now, but we will get into that. So yeah, let me start with, we're in my kitchen. So I'm going to start with the ones that are in my kitchen and go from there. So first, let me swing you over here. This is my front door. There's Pito's artwork that he made the other day. Um, as you walk in the front door, I have this shelf right here. Let me see if I can get a light. Okay, so first I have this top shelf, this bird's nest fern. I am trying to save from my work. Some One of the admin had it in her office and it just was not doing well. So she gave it to me to try to revive. She's kind of reviving. She's kind of not. Um, we got a few broken leaves, dead leaves, but she's still green. So I'm thinking she'll come back to life. Um, right here we have this crazy Kalanchoe. Um, I've had it for over a year. And it's just crazy. Look at this. I've also propagated it like five times and it's still just growing, growing, growing. I got to chop this one off, propagate that. There's a couple on there that I could do. I have this guy right here who seems to be not really growing tall. I have a nice little crystal on there. She's supposed to get a little taller, her stem, but she's kind of just staying like this for now. She's doing good though. She's staying alive. Next, I have this other Kalanchoe who is the only one I could get to bloom. You can see some of the blooms that are currently dying off, but she was pretty in pink. I also have a couple stones in there. She was nice and pretty in pink, but she must be done blooming. Hi, Pop. Hey, you can't have that. Pito normally doesn't bother with the plants, but he will if he wants attention. No. Okay, so back here, I have, let me get this, this lovely little pot. Let me turn her around. Pot that I got from my best friend. Thank you, Brian. And in here, I have this purple waffle plant, which I love. She's purple underneath her leaves and green on top when she needs water she completely goes down so it's so easy to water her and pay attention when she's droopy she's ready for water and then she perks right back up I love that plant so down here I only have um, one spider well actually there's two in there that I've propagated 
So she sits right there. I love spider plants. They're super easy. Hi, Pito. Hi, honey. Um, I did have a plant right here, but Pito was messing with it, so I put it up. And I just have my Buddhas down there. Okay, over on my kitchen counter, I have another Kalanchoe, which is crazy. Um, because recently, within the last couple of weeks, two separate plants have grown in this pot that are not Kalanchoe's. These are some type of palm. And I don't know where they came from because I don't even have that type of plant in my house. So they just grew on their own. I'm not even sure how, but that's pretty cool. I'm going to have to remove those and put them in separate pots at some point. Right here I have this plant. It's a big tall guy. And this was on the side of the road, so I totally took it. It's very easy. It's a type of cactus, I believe, or succulent. Um, I barely water her, and she's just doing well. So that's right there. I also, this plant right here is not a house plant. It was an outdoor plant, but I just got it, so I can't plant it outdoors because we have snow. So she died, but the pot is really cute. So I'm definitely going to, maybe I'll put the palms in this pot eventually. It's a really cute pot. So she's just up there until I figure out what to put in this pot. Okay, moving on. Okay, so above my fridge, I'm going to have to use this stool to get up there. Above my fridge, I have this, I think it's a marble pothos. I'm not quite sure. Um, she just hangs up here on the fridge because she does very well and she's going to vine down. As you can see, she's kind of leaning to the side trying to find sun. So she'll eventually vine down, but she's just up here on the fridge, chilling. Okay, so we are currently in Pito's room, slash our closet. And I just have these two plants over here. She needs to get watered before she dies, I know. Um, my friend gave me these two plants that she propagated. And uh, they sit in this room for now because they were infested with gnats. So they were chilling in here away from all the other plants. And actually they've been doing well. This one I just need to water. But I had a little soap dish here to catch all the gnats and they're all gone. So I might move these plants somewhere else now that they're back to being healthy and good to go. Just need to water this little guy. Okay, so in my bedroom... Next to the window, I have, I'm sorry, it's a little dark. I have this guy right here who's doing super well next to the window in the bedroom. This is my grandmother's Thanksgiving cactus, which was propagated by my mother. Um, my grandmother passed away, so she took her big Thanksgiving cactus and propagated some, gave one to me. She seems to be doing all right. I have another spider down here. Um, she's not really growing that much. I'm thinking because it's the terracotta pot, but she's still hanging on. Over here, this was my African violet that I had for about five years. And just within the past month, she died, which I'm kind of glad, not going to lie, because she never bloomed after the first year that I got her and I was just having a difficult time with her. She never grew. She stayed green but never grew. Um, so she finally died which means I can just put another plant in this pot. Um, this one over here is a Kalanchoe that I propagated. She's looking a little sad but there's some green on top. There's a little green leaf on there. So she's okay. She's just in this pot for now until she gets bigger. So yeah. So in the living room, I have next to the TV, um, I have this beautiful bird's nest fern. She's doing fantastic, just growing like crazy. Pito, you can't eat it, honey. Oh, Papa, <laughs> he never does that. 
But yeah, she's doing super well over here by the window. There's a window right here. And then over here is my big boy right here. This is my first spider plant that I propagated myself. And that was about probably like eight months ago or so. And she is just growing and she has babies. And I have her on this stand right here. Peter does not bother with this one at all. He lays right next to it. And then on this other stand, I have this polka dot plant, which is no longer polka dotted, but she's still green and growing. I don't know what to do with her. She's very lanky and I don't know. I thought it looked really cool next to the Buddha. And then over here, I have this succulent who was doing great and then all of a sudden her leaves started kind of dying at the ends but it looks like she's doing all right now she's growing new leaves in there so that's good we'll keep her there also in my kitchen which i forgot on my windowsill on my above my sink um i have this spider that i also propagated she's doing lovely I have a spider next to her just in a jelly jar of water, which just continues to grow, so I just leave her in there. She's blooming. Look how lovely that is. She's blooming and she has babies. Perfect. Um, I also have these little cactuses. I have this little purple guy, and this one was my grandmother's that I gifted to her, and I took it back when she passed. So they kind of just sit up here on the window. Literally only need to be watered like once a year. They're awesome. So yeah, that's my windowsill up there. I need to change the sign because it does not fall anymore. Um, so yeah, that is my plant tour. Um, I definitely want more plants. Come springtime, maybe I'll go out and get some more and figure out other ways to put plants in my house because I'm running out of room in this small space. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know what you do in your small space. But for now, I absolutely love what I have. I just want more. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow.